The Dinosuchus is one of the top predators of the isle, able to snatch and drown almost anybody who dares to approach its territory. This is getting a bit bad. This powerful creature is all about patience and ambush. Once they're in your jaws, there is little room for escape. But getting them in your jaws is often harder than it may seem. One slip up and hours of waiting are wasted. But before we can get into all the action, we're gonna begin like every good story must. Right at the beginning of our dino's journey. I kinda heard a Utah somewhere in this bush. Sometimes waiting for your prey to come to you is just not enough. So you gotta get a little creative and step out of your comfort zone. And since I was beginning to starve, I decided to go investigate the cries of this baby Utah. I kinda saw it running around and then I heard it. Even on land, ambush is still your best friend. This time, just a little more emphasis on bush. Oh my god. Oh my god. It just came straight up to me. Did it not see me? No ways. That actually worked. <laughs> Who said Dino wasn't viable on land? Sometimes a little creativity and curiosity can land you an easy meal. And this time, we got lucky. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta be a bit smart with your hunting, that's all. Too big to swallow, huh? <laughs> I'm not gonna say it, but you know it. I quickly filled up on the carcass before it would attract more predators and decided to move upstream, that's where I heard the calls of the cars, island's yeah. meat-eating bull. The Carnotaurus. Hello. I think they're too big. <gasps> Wait, I think there's a baby there. Oh my god, there's a baby and they're crossing. Oh my god, cross, cross, cross. Oh my god, this is my time. This is my time. Uh. Go on. Come on. No! Oh, no! A failed hunt. While trying to dodge the deadly attacks of the protective parent, the baby managed to get away, leaving me with no food and a damaged body. Well, other than this frog. I thought I could kill it. It must be so low. Oh, that kind of hurt me. Hurt and bleeding, I decided to head to the center, where I previously had some good luck. Who knows? Maybe I'd get lucky again. I'm back at center. Anything here? Nah. Sometimes little things like to drink there, but there was no ripples either. Wait. Heard something. Oh my god, there is something here. Wait, what? I heard like a little snort. There is something here. <laughs> Sometimes a key sense of hearing is all you need to catch your next meal. This guy was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. There's a lot of Utahs around here, or like baby Utahs. Give me that ass, boy. Ah, the cry of a small packy. Well, here we go again. Mr. Brr. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> oh, I'm stupid, holy. <laughs> Come on, where you're at, son? Come get these teeth. Keeping an eye out for those small ripples is sometimes the only thing you can do to locate <gasps> such small prey. Oh my god. It's swimming. Did I get it? Oh, I got it! What was, it was the packy! <laughs> it actually was! Oh my god, I, I love this place! <laughs> what the hell? Very nice, thank you very much. On our way out of the center, we caught many little guys trying to cross the dangerous rivers. However, other than that, not much did happen. So, let's skip forward on our journey just a little bit. Ooh. There's a Tenanto over there. A fully grown Tenanto. I wasn't yet fully grown myself, however, I might just be big enough to catch one and bring them down to their watery grave. However, all of this wouldn't matter if the Tenanto didn't come to us first, as on land, the Tenanto would be able to outrun me with ease. But in the water? <laughs> Not so much. Let me get in the water just in case. I can't see over this ridge. Oh wait, there it is. Let's follow it. Where is it? I think we lost it. Sometimes, just a little bit of patience is all you need. Oh! 
Oh my god. I think. <laughs> okay, I need to take it to the deep butt. Deep butt, deep butt, deep butt, deep butt. Oh my god. We actually got it. Oh, I made noise as well. I thought I messed it up. The hunt was a success. Thankfully, I remained patient for just a tiny bit longer, as one second out of place could have cost me the whole hunt. An hour or so had gone by, and my search for food had gotten me a little bit lost. But that's when I stumbled across a familiar smell. Is there any food? Oh. Was that like. Oh, that's on land though. What is that? What could that be? The. Wait, is that a stego? Wait, did the Carnos kill a stego? I don't know. It's like a test. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Okay, let's suss it out. Let's see what's happening. So there's two Carnos and like a... I don't know, maybe like a sub-adult, maybe? Okay, the water's right here. If I need a retreat, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, let's do it. Whatever. Whatever. I'm a big scary croc. Come on, then. My body. Yeah, I'm actually glad they didn't just run. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, yeah oh, that one's a hurt. For sure. I don't want to use the old bite too much. I want to use all my stam. Oh! <laughs> we're doing well, we're doing well. Come on! Come on then. Oh, they're giving up. I think they gave up. We managed to chase the Carnos off their body. On my server, there's a body down rule, meaning before you attack, you must contest if someone has claimed the carcass. And by fighting them off of it, we now have claim to this body. Hell yeah though, easy. I was scared for nothing. I finished the body off and decided to head back towards center. Once there, I entered the classic dino cave, or at least what used to be the dino cave. I haven't been in this cave for a while. I can fit, right? <laughs> yeah, it should be fine. This cave used to be kind of cool. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well maybe they're actually not going in. While reminiscing in what used to be a very popular cave, I heard the sound of a packy. Although I was not sure that they were coming into the cave, I decided to investigate anyway. Yeah, I think they're just on the outside. Man, this place needs to be so cool though. Are they coming in? Oh, oh wait. Mm. Which one do we go for? Wait, which one do we need? Okay, either. Okay, the Tenanto I think has more meat. Maybe we should go for the Tenanto. Although it's hard to drown it, but I'll just bring it out. It's okay. Come drink, Mr. Tenanto. Bring him in, bring him in. <laughs> oh, I didn't actually think they would come in. No one ever comes here anymore. <laughs> Down you go. Nice. Where's that Packy? Let me show him his friend. The cave I thought nobody went into anymore ended up having my next meal in it. I didn't want to attract too many dinos, so I quickly finished the carcass and headed up the river. On my journey up the river, I came across a Stego and a Tenanto. The Tenanto was still small, an easy kill. However, it was being guarded by a massive Stego. It would be a risky move. Let's find out. Oh, I can't. I can't. <laughs> that was close though. A close call for that Tenanto. Quick reactions allowed him to live another day. While journeying on, I discovered a rather weird bug. Take a look yourself. I'm like a fucking motorboat. There was literally nothing over there. I can't believe how dead it was. 
Sometimes there's so many people there and just like, Ooh. Oh shit, did it see me? A Tyrannodon was fishing in the area. Without a vertical lunge, catching one was not the easiest thing. However, it's not quite impossible either. Oh no, he's ruining it for me. Oh, but they might just think it's a baby. Hold on. If they come close enough, I can snatch one. Oh, he didn't see that. He didn't see that. I was behind him. I don't think he saw that. Did he see it? Okay, okay. I need to come to the surface. Oh, I got it. <laughs> yes, I if you anger yourself correctly and the Pteranodon is low enough, you can actually make your lunge clip the Pteranodon and grab it out of the sky. This is something I only recently found out and it's pretty damn cool. While strolling with the river tides, I heard a fight going on between a Paki and some Utahs. So, I decided to go investigate a little. Is that a fight? Wait, I think the Utahs are attacking a Paki. Yeah, it's Utahs. And obviously a Paki, at least one, I can see. Oh. Did it see me? Oh my god, I don't think it saw me. I need to wait for it to come close and I can snatch one. What? This guy! <laughs> How unfortunate. It seemed someone was stalking the same pack as me, and our lunges cancelled out each other's, leaving us both with no food. We both had the same idea. I didn't even see him. I think he like grabbed it out of my I don't know how that worked. Did the, did the Utah just give up? Did the Packy actually get away? I think the Packy got away. I think the Utahs got scared. <laughs> Well, on that note, I'm going to end this journey here. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know it was a lot shorter than normal and I apologize for that. However, if you did enjoy the video and want to help support me, leaving a like and commenting truly helps out my channel. But without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video.